Sony has been leading the mirrorless camera market and its Alpha One is a masterpiece that has taken Sony to a new height in competition. There are only a handful of cameras that just come in the market and conquer. A good example is the Sony A1, which is sitting on the top in the camera market. It has everything you could ever expect to be in a camera. Insanely faster performance, 8K shooting, industry-leading autofocus, and the list goes on and on. And in this video, we are going to discuss all the significant features in great detail, along with some downsides, if any. So with that being said, let's jump in. The Sony Alpha One is equipped with a newly developed 50.1 megapixel XMAR RS full frame sensor. The sensor is back illuminated, which means it is going to provide impressive low light performance. However, a BSI sensor's response time can be often slow. So, to curb this issue, this sensor has been constructed using Stack technology, which improves the sensor's readout performance and offers high quality footage. One of the basic notions of photography is that if a camera has a high resolution sensor, it would not be very fast, like what we get from a sports camera. Sports cameras usually come with lower resolution to facilitate fast sensor readout. On the other hand, cameras for landscape shooting don't need to be as fast as sports cameras, but they do need a high resolution for capturing as many details as possible. But the Sony A1 has debunked that notion. Its 50.1 megapixel clearly shows its worth in landscape shooting. On top of that, it has an insane burst shooting rate of 30 frames per second with complete exposure and full autofocus. So it is not only a high-end landscape camera, but it also has its utility in sport and wildlife shooting. The camera also features a large buffer memory, which is capable of storing 155 compressed RAW files per burst. Another noticeable feature of the A1 is its electronic shutter which allows for silent shooting. Besides, it comes with an anti-flickering feature which is helpful when you are shooting in flicker-prone LEDs and fluorescent lights. Moreover, with the electronic shutter, you can sync your flash at up to 1 by 200th of a second. Besides, the fast readout capability has also reduced the rolling shutter effect on Sony Alpha 1 significantly. And if you are wondering about the reason behind this superb performance and speed, it is the Bionz XR processor which is about 8 times faster and improved than the Bionz X processor. As for still images, the 50 megapixel images look tack sharp. Besides, you can also level up the resolution with its multi-shot mode which allows you to take as many as 16 simultaneous images of a single scene to create a whopping 200 megapixel image. In addition to that, the dual gain sensor also allows for shooting at high ISO numbers while keeping the noise level minimal. This camera also offers lossless compressed RAW which stores all the details like a RAW file but takes much smaller memory space than an uncompressed RAW file. The Sony A1 is capable of shooting 8K videos at 30 frames per second and the video quality is amazingly sharp as it is oversampled from 8.6K. Now the question is, does it have the 8K overheating issue which we have previously seen on Canon R5? Well, thanks to its efficient heat dissipation technology, the Sony A1 can shoot 8K videos for more than 30 minutes. And if you are shooting indoors with a room temperature of around 23 degrees Celsius, the camera should allow you to shoot 8K videos for more than an hour. And what's fascinating is its recovery time after the overheating warning shows off. If you turn off the camera and remove the battery and memory cards for just 5 minutes and then start shooting again, you can again get to shoot 8K for another 1 hour. But what if you want to shoot, say for 3 hours, in 8K without any break in between? Well, in that case, you can use a dummy battery which will allow you to shoot 8K for about an indefinite period of time. Additionally, you can also shoot 4K videos at 120 frames per second with autofocus, 
but at a 10% crop view. As far as colors are concerned, this camera is capable of providing 15 stops of dynamic range. For color profile, the Alpha 1 has a lower base ISO when shooting with S Log 3. For the Sony A7S 3 the S Log 3 requires a base ISO of 640, meanwhile for the Sony A1, it's only 400. So you are going to get better and sharper videos with the Alpha 1. Additionally, you can also take the benefit of S Sign Tone, which will allow you to take great footage right out of your camera. Sony Autofocus is already one of the best, or you can say, the best autofocus system in the market right now, and that we have previously seen in the Sony A7S III and other Sony cameras. But with the Sony Alpha 1, it just got to another level. The Alpha 1 features a hybrid autofocus system consisting of about 759 phase detection points along with 425 contrast detection areas for almost instantaneous and accurate autofocus experience. As far as low light shooting is concerned, you can track down your subject with this autofocus system even if you are 6 stops underexposed. On top of that, the autofocus points cover about 92% of the frame which is handy when you are shooting a moving subject. It has 3 autofocus modes including human, animal and bird autofocus. Besides, you can also enjoy body and eye detection autofocus like the previous Sony cameras, but now with better speed and accuracy. And if you are wondering how fast this camera is capable of performing, well, the A1 is capable of 120 autofocus as well as auto exposure calculations per second. Apart from that, you can also control the speed of autofocus transition from one subject to another. Moreover, to ease your handheld shooting experience, this camera comes with 5-axis in-body image stabilization which smooths out your footage up to 5.5 stops. The Alpha 1 comes with an industry-leading OLED electronic viewfinder which has a resolution of over 9.44 million dots. Besides, it has a magnification capability of about 0.9 times along with a whopping refresh rate of 240 frames per second. It also offers you blackout free shooting which is a plus for capturing action moments. As for the rear display, this camera features a 3 inch 1.44 million dot tilting screen. This screen allows you to touch and focus. Besides, it also includes the new user friendly cascading menu system. However, the display doesn't flip for vlogging. The Sony A1 is equipped with an NPFZ100 rechargeable lithium-ion battery which lets you shoot around 430 images or 90 minutes of recording in a single charge if you are using the viewfinder. And if you choose to use the touchscreen, you will be able to shoot approximately 530 images or record 95 minutes of video per charge. And for flexible storage, this camera incorporates a dual card slot that is compatible with UHS-1, UHS-2, and CF Express A type card slots. The most exciting news is you can use V90 or even V60 memory cards while shooting 8K videos without any visible loss of quality. So that was all about the Sony Alpha 1 camera. Undoubtedly, this is an all-rounder camera with high-end features and incredible speed. Though it is an expensive camera, the top-notch features justify its price, and clearly, it is one of the best professional-grade 8K shooting cameras in the market and suitable for those who want absolute quality in their work. So what are your thoughts about the Sony Alpha 1? Let us know in the comment section.